Hey, how you doing guys? So does anime give you gains? Not physically, but definitely mentally. もちろん、1日3食きちんと食べ。朝はバナナでもいい。極めつけば精神を鍛えるため夏の冬もエアコンを使わないことだ。最初は死ぬほど辛い。1日くらい休もうかと足の重く動かなくなっても隙はっとやり腕がプチプチと変な音を立てたが腕立て折ったんこうした変化に気づいたのは一年半後だった俺はハゲていたそして強くなっていた次ハゲるくらい死に物狂いで己を鍛え込む
It's with good intention, but it causes bad results. If I put it in a, in a better perspective, you know, when you're, you're when a parent tells a child, look, I don't want you to do this and do that, it's really because the child has such a strong heart and such a strong dream that they don't want their dream to fail and break the child's heart. So they literally put limits and put the child in a cage where they feel like they can't do anything. Now, when we're talking about the anime portion, the anime have brought out that inner child up to the point that we are now. We were at points where we were like, yo, we, we can't do this. We gotta live a normal, average, everyday life. But we kept watching these animes and they pushed us and they kept saying, you know, there's no such thing as giving up. Uh, there's no such thing as failure and stuff like now, that. Now listen to this quote, guys. I was actually on my cell phone because I was looking for it. And I love this quote. It's from King Kai. If any of you guys are Dragon Ball Z fans, like a small boy, really, still innocent enough to believe that there is nothing he couldn't do. He's a man who has no limits. He shuns them. Quotation, King Kai on Goku. Now, if any of you guys have watched my live feeds, you'll, you'll see that I talked a lot about uh, Grant Cardone's 10X book. He also has some interesting information on this specific topic. You see, when you're a child, you're, you, you only do what you want to do. As your parents, kind of like the topic we we're talking about, your mom, your parents, the, 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 the greatest influences in your life start telling you not to do that, don't do this, don't do that. You start limiting yourself. And it could be in a good way too, don't get me wrong. You don't want to just run across the street and get ran over by a car. But for the most part, these limits create insecurities in a lot of people. And how is this tied back to lifting? Because people always put limits. Oh, I can't lift this without this. I can't do this without that. Do I need this in order to do this? So these limits stop you from doing a lot of things. Me, myself, I thought that naturally, I could never attain a physique or, 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 or strength that I would be able to do taking drugs. And that just motivated me a lot. And those thoughts become fears and those fears become limits. So what I'm trying to say with all of this is that you have to put yourself in a state of mind where you're not going out there and endangering yourself, but where you're going out there and pushing yourself to limits that other people aren't willing to do so. And that's what I'm trying to say by this anime. There's a famous football player, his name is Teron Beckham. I, he, he, he's super inspirational. This guy's phenomenal. He's a natural athlete and I believe it to the T. You can tell. This guy does 315 and squat jumps onto a box about like what, like 5 to 10 feet high? I believe so. It's phenomenal what he does, but if you see his lifestyle, he's a little bit crazy. There has to be a touch of insanity. But it's like 4 feet, 3 to 4 feet. Yeah, high. but he, he watches anime and he's just... He, he says it in his Instagram, like he, you know, he was done being judged and he just let himself go in the sense where it's like he doesn't care anymore. He's about to go pro, I think this year he's going to be an NFL football player again. Teron Beckham, look out for him. And he, he's phenomenal. He's, he's a, his athleticism, what he does out there with the weights is just inspiring me. And it inspired me from just a bodybuilder mindset to go outside of my normal realm and start just doing crazy exercises. Yeah, I can hurt myself. But you have to do it in such a way where you, you, you know your limits, but you still push past them, but you kind of gauge it in a way where you know you're going to do it. And I don't do anything and, and second guess myself when I'm about to do it. If I'm about to hit a new PR or something, I don't second guess myself because those thoughts become reality. They become actual things and it's so real. And that's what I love about anime is that anime it had such a it has such a big influence in, in in so many people's lives you know because these characters do such crazy things that they seem inhumanly possible but yet we have real humans breaking these crazy records that are also inhumanly possible now that's you know where we're trying to get out this don't let anybody tell you you can't do something you can do a lot more than you think you can tap into your inner superhuman I would tell you something, when I get afraid of doing something, there's one thing that I always look to. For all my Naruto fans, if you've ever seen Naruto Shippuden, when it came to the point where he decided to try and take control of Kyuubi, Kuruma, um, he had to go to the this um, this waterfall, right? And he had to sit in front of the waterfall, and what the waterfall did to, the, to him was tap into his inner chakra and bring out the true feelings he had towards everything. And he had to control those feelings. 
one of the biggest feelings that, that was controlling him was his fear and negative energy. And he had to fight his negative energy. The problem was that he didn't know what to do with it. He didn't know how to beat it. He didn't know how to overcome it. And that was the issue. Because he didn't know how to overcome it, he eventually understood, if, if I can't overcome it, I have to embrace it and help it learn that I gotta bring this positive energy to it so it understands my point of view. I can't sit here and understand its point of view. It has to understand me because I'm the controller. I'm the one who has the body and works with the body. He's just a feeling. And that's something that processes through my mind. When I see a heavy weight that I feel like I can't do it, I look at that point and put it in my mind. I'm like, no, it's not me that can't do it. It's my negative energy that's telling me I can't. So I'm going to break that and do it with the positive energy I've got. Put all my focus and willpower into it and become a super me, not just the average me. Guys, we live in a blue planet that just sits in the middle of space. Like, dude, like, I mean, that's pretty phenomenal. I mean, there's a lot of things that us humans can probably do. We only use 10% of our brain. Do you think that me doing these videos, I wasn't insecure? being in front of a camera, I feel more comfortable as I do them, as I realize that, dude, I don't care. I don't care what anybody in front of this camera thinks about me. I'm being 100% authentic with you guys. I'm telling you what I think. I'm being real. At the end of the day, if I, I'm gonna get judged anyway, so why not just be myself, right? So that's something you start realizing as you start doing these things. At the end of the day, I just wanna help people have a good time and live a good life. Life is short. You know, why am I going to set these limits, these fears in my head? I don't care for that. I'm sure Christian doesn't care for that anymore. You know, it's like, and this is like a growing process for both of us. We really enjoy doing this. So we're trying to come up with different topics to really entertain you guys. And like I said, I mean, I know a lot of you guys and girls probably, you don't watch anime. Not everybody's going to appreciate it. But at least appreciate the message we're sending out to you guys. You guys can do anything that you guys put your mind to. I promise you, I promise you that, that if you put your 100% faith, positivity, surround yourself with positive people that believe in you, you can make your dreams come true. It comes down to a Teddy Roosevelt quote. The only thing to fear is fear itself. Literally stating, yeah, you could be afraid of that, afraid of this, but it's not really that you're afraid of that or afraid of this. It's really that fear is controlling you to make you be afraid of that. I've seen a guy stand up to a gorilla in a freaking National Geographic documentary. <laughs> he just stood there. The gorilla charged them. You're looking at like a 270 pound, 290 pound gorilla versus a 160 pound man, lanky and skinny. He just looked at it. It ran into his face and it ran away. That's astonishing. I know as sure as hell I probably can't do it, but if I can tap into my person, if I can tap into my inner strength and willpower, I'll succeed. I know I will. Because if I let myself be afraid, it gives the animal instinct in the person in front of me or the gorilla in front of me to ravage me and destroy me because I'm a threat. But if I show him I'm the threat, and if I show him I'm the alpha male and he's the threat, he's going to be scared. Guys, we're going to die anyway. Minus will do what you want to do. I'm going to end this YouTube video with this quote. When I grow up, I want to be a little kid. As kids, we only did what we wanted to do. If you're brave enough, it doesn't have to change. I don't even know if you guys can read it because it's probably backwards. <laughs> but mad love to you guys. We hope this inspired someone. We hope this inspired all of you guys, really. And if you don't watch anime, get your ass to kissanime.com or even YouTube and watch yourself a damn anime. Get inspired before you go to the gym. Find something motivational. And another thing, go out there and achieve your goals. Amen. Don't tell someone you can't. Amen. Stay motivated, guys. Love you guys. Take, Take care. care. Why can't I hit you? Just tell me!
You didn't say please. Please? What? Please? Uh, you are right, then. You can destroy planets, but you can never destroy what I am, friend. Uh, you... what... what are you? Uh... I am the hope of the universe! I am the answer to all living things that cry out for peace. I am protector of the innocent. I am the light in the darkness. I am truth. Frieza be able to stand up to Goku now that the legendary power of the Super Saiyan has awakened within him. Don't miss the next exciting episode of Dragon Ball Z.